this is just for Shani for Christ because she she loves this song. This is my favorite song of all time. The number one. Just for my honey. Saints to my soul. Hello, I've waited here for you ever long. Tonight, I throw myself into out of the red, out of her head, she sings. Come down and waste away with me Down with me Slow how you wanted it to be I'm over my head, out of her head she sang And I When I sing along with you Everything could ever feel this real forever If anything could ever be this good again The only thing I'll ever ask of you You gotta promise not to stop, stop when I say when you When she, she says Breathe out so I can breathe you in, hold you in. And now I know you've always been out of your head, out of my head. I say, and I wonder. I sing along with you If everything could ever feel this real forever If anything could ever do this good again The if only thing I ever ask of you Is probably promise not to stop when I say you when she said I wonder Everything could ever feel this real forever If, if anything, anything could ever be this good again The only thing I'll ever ask of you Is gotta promise not to stop when I I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Dave Grohl for life, baby. Ooh, I love you. You. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. How is everybody doing tonight? How are you doing tonight, Michael? Hey, We're hey, back. hey, 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 hey. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Anyway, um, we're back again because Shani and Rev apparently went live again. I was watching some other arrest videos and shit on my own, and next thing I know, Michael's telling me these two knuckleheads went live again. 
people send so like I should you not. They I always can, go in spurts like this though. That I call. They it cannot go online. live and someone not tell me about it. I figure that you would be told before me. Um, so I thought you probably already knew. I just hadn't looked at my phone really much or anything, but Bucky, you're dead to me. You're double <laughs> dog dead. That's my dude. People, I mean, um, people know the truth. So, I mean, Bucky's just saying what people know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so apparently the title of this little number that we're going to dive into is Repent Gary Moore. Oh, God. So this is going to be do we a need to watch what, what did G-Man, G-Man do? rant. Like, well, what? Do we need to look and see if G-Man did something? Or said something? or? Um, let's see. I don't think he did. Talk with nothing but vocal fry from now on. Let's I see. I don't think he did. Just vocal fry. I don't know if this is vocal fry, but it is. Didn't, I didn't see anything. Keep doing so. it. Okay, now you're getting annoying. It's almost like half of the arc voice. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't know what she says in this, but Miss Fribbit does not like it because Miss Fribbit is up here and she's left a comment and said, unfollow. I now see why you are so disliked. This is disgusting. Nothing but hate speech. <laughs> oh, boy. We're in for a good one then. We are in for a good one. So nothing, nothing else like Shani hate speech. They're so good at that. And wasn't he just apologizing to G-Man in the last one for saying the N-word and calling or, him the yeah. N-word? So I have a theory, though. I, I really think that they will do anything to get some of the money. You know what I mean? Like, G-Man's got money from the sale of the house. They want money. Match made in heaven. So they will do I anything. I want money. She What's wants that? Money. What? Uh, a song. It's a song. I, don't, who, oh. I think Burnt Toast made it. But it's made with Rev saying, I want money. She wants money. Oh, God. Like he was saying all this stuff about money and they made a song into it. It's actually gotcha. good. I can't, I can't hate on uh, Burnt Toast there. I gotcha. It's kind of catchy. It is kind of catchy. I mean, I hear she makes good documentaries. I come back. <laughs> I come back as a prophet. <laughs> what the hell is going on in there? Uh, God. Was that Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. That did not sound like him. God's orders. Now what? God's orders. The Lord has spoken and told me to t- tell him. And by him. <sighs> so God. I know where this Sh- is going. God came to Shani and told her, hey. I can't get a hold of Gary. Um, I'm just getting his voicemail. Can you can you get a hold of him for me? Shanny, this ain't got shit to do with God. <laughs> and you know it. Uh, this G-Man's is what Shanny right wants now? to say about G Man. That's what this is gonna be, a hundred percent. This is of not course. gonna have anything to do with what God really wants or preaches or whatever or what the right thing to do is. This is everything to do with Shanny wants to rant about G Man for a little while. Of course. So God has came to her and said, Go and bash G Man Shanny. Right. In the hey, name of Jesus. Hey Shan Shan. G Man's ghost to me right now. Can you can you get a hold of our boy? <laughs> Shan, Shan. <laughs> I mean, Gary Moore. I must tell him. Did I say Shan, Shan? I meant, hey, Sandalphon. What I have seen in him. Hey, Sandalphon, it's Dad. <laughs> and uh, he needs to be rebuked. Oh. By the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. By Jesus Christ of Nazareth. From his best friend and amazing prophet me drama clip um, uploaded at Hunter's head. <laughs> oh, okay um well then let me go there and we'll we'll do it there 
I wish I could play this. Are are, are there any Ethel Kane fans in the um? What is that? A singer. Ethel Kane. Yeah, that's their name. No, but you know what I heard in a gas station the other day? What? Father John Misty. Yes, very good. I but I, I mean, Johnny. in a gas station? I thought that that was fairly obscure. Yeah, kind of. Kind of obscure. Um, okay. It was, I'm writing a, a novel. Why am I sharing two? Here we go. This is Drama Clip Dump. Oh, it was the song, I'm writing a novel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. Not yeah. one of my favorites, but... I know what song you're talking about. Um, this is Drop a Clip Dump, and they are, like, on top of things. That's why I'm sorry, Draven, but you're going to be hard-pressed to be quicker than Drama Clip Dumps. And uh, I know that you're trying to have an archive channel now. But I would be willing to bet if I go to yours right now, this video is not going to be on there yet. Do it. Do it. Should I? Yeah, show them up. Well, let's see. Let's see. Hold I on. don't know what I. I say, good on you, Darwin if, Archive. I say good on you if you're trying to let bygones be got bygones and. Isn't that know, what he said it was called? I have no fucking clue. Draven um, Archive. But. Oh, I, don't I even think. See it. Let's see if it's linked on his regular page or something. Uh, all right, I'm going to rebuke you. If you keep interrupting me, um, I'm not going to have a co-host for this show. I don't see it anywhere. Where? where? His channel or the thing? The new one. Oh, well, he may not even have made it. Who knows? Um, let me go. Well, it says that. Let me see if it's linked in. So, quick question. Do you literally have to speak while thinking? Hmm? Well, AKA shut up. Draven Archive. I couldn't find it. I don't so, know if he took it down or what, but it's not there. So he definitely doesn't have the video <laughs> faster than Drama Clip Dumps because he doesn't appear to have it at all. Um. So anyway, our little yeah. I don't. Um. I I really think is... that if uh, you know. People are letting bygones be bygones. Darwin is kind of uh, old news, maybe shit like that. I mean, I got nothing for the dude. I think that uh, maybe that's a character flaw of me. But I mean, some of the, some of the shit he did. I mean, he's as big yeah. of a piece of shit as some of the others. You have a point. So, I come back, I come back as a prophet. Bitch, <laughs> no you don't. Uh, God's orders. The Lord has spoken and told me to t- tell him, and by him... I mean, Gary Moore, I must tell him what I have seen in him. And uh, he needs to be rebuked by the Holy Spirit. Spirit? By Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, not Jesus Christ of... I don't know. I was going to try to think of somewhere to say it. (laughs) From his best friend and amazing prophet, me. Um, his best friend and amazing prophet. What makes an amazing prophet, Shani? Um, I want to know how that, how Rev you define so. that, because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it. So. Gary. And Gary. 
Why are you so manipulative? Oh. So. This doesn't sound like God, Shani. Boy. Go ahead and call you out already. Sounding more like. Could it be. Satan? Selfish. Entitled. Boasterous. Narcissistic. Boasterous. Boasterous. Hold on. Let's Didn't you not say oi either? Oi, oi, oi. So, oi, oi, oi. ungiven, selfish, entitled, boasterous, boasterous, narcissistic, hateful, manipulative. I would think that she's trying Why to say boisterous, like but I think she's just saying like someone who boasts. I think she said manipulative twice. <laughs> so she, she really meant that. Why dodge, duck, do you dip, say dive, you're dodge. going to do one thing and then do another? Or you say you're... Yeah, like you. Like, say you're going to raise your kids and then not do it. <laughs> and do something else. A A.K.A. A- a- uh, never mind. I don't know where I was going with that one either. I'm going to do <laughs> something. Abandoned joke. But joke. the things you do, you, you make... Cheaper and cheaper decisions. Cheaper? I know. That's a, what a weird choice of word. That he's being cheaper. Why? Because he's not giving you, handing over money to you? <laughs> That's exactly it. What a weird thing to say. He's getting cheaper and cheaper. But the things you do, you, you make cheaper and cheaper decisions. Cheaper decisions. cheaper decisions yeah i know not having you in this life is definitely cheaper than it was so i'll <laughs> give you that i don't i wonder if she's calling him because i am going to establish you establish. before the lord and the church the church that you sir i thought she didn't are like a the wolf in anymore. sheep's clothing you sir you will not are a pig and in pig skin. <laughs> <laughs> Inherit the kingdom of God. I have to tell you that. Oh, thanks. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. You well, have the Shani, same problem. If you're there, I'm questioning what kind of kingdom it could be. Um, oh. <laughs> as yeah. uh, <clears throat> Judas had. <clears throat> I just, I don't know where the fuck she gets off. See, Judas wasn't... She is an archangel, Michael. What do you mean? Where does she get off? She is God's best friend. Yeah. Jesus Nazareth. Best friend. In charge of the monies. For the apostles and Jesus Christ. All dark-sided... And Jesus put him in charge of the monies for the reason, for a particular reason. Dude, but uh, like he knew Judas. If you think about this in in terms of what her goal is, her goal is to get some of the money. Wouldn't you think it? Honestly, if your goal is to get some of G Man's money, kiss his ass. Don't no go at him like this. Do you know what I mean? She's going to literally compare him to Judas. And she's going to compare herself to Christ. Um, That's what she's going to do. But she knows him better than us, certainly. But is he, like, do you find him to be the type of person who would see this and be like, you know what? She's convicted me. I'm, uh, I oh see my the error God, of my ways. Are you kidding? I, I, don't I don't think that that's going to be something Shani's going to trigger in anyone. Ever. I just don't think that, not even not Shani. I'm just saying that, that tactic. I don't see that tactic. No, it doesn't in usually work. It doesn't usually work. Well, that's why, I I guess that's why I said that. That's why she doesn't reach people, because this is always her fucking tactic. Yeah. That she somehow, you know, goes by different rules and can do whatever the fuck she wants to, but be, you know, the best friend of God at the same time, even though she does nothing to prove that she actually is a follower of Christ. So. Yeah. She's a lot of talk and n- no walk, literally and figuratively. Uh-huh. It's her name. 
And Jesus put the him in charge of the money for a reason, for a particular reason. Now what? He knew Judas was not truly one of them. What do you mean one of them? And I have to tell you this. He was G-Man. a disciple. Everything I have ever said and done to you has been very deliberate in speech. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Because it ha- it's been very deliberate in speech. Like when you called him the N word. Over and over and over. I did that deliberately. Right. That was we understand. Me. You are deliberate about the shit. You're not sorry. You don't think you've done anything wrong. Right? God told me to. Not only have you not do- done anything wrong, but G-Man owes you an apology, right? That's yeah. where this is going to go. And money. If he wants to prove he's sorry, he can give you some money, right? I was testing your spirit. Oh, oh my over God. Over again. Te- Shanny. Jeez. Like, is that not just straight up blasphemous? Like, she doesn't have the power to test anyone. Well, I don't, who is the, I just, who does she think she is that she's got the I'm power saying. to do that? Oh my god, the just the fucking the odd like the uh, Jesus like, Christ, the um what yeah that's fucking crazy. This bitch is fucking crazy. Right, the ego, the fucking entitlement, the um I the mean, gall. She, the right. fucking gall. And she really believes it. Absolutely. I think she I mean, she has really bought her own shit, hook, line, and sphincter. <laughs> Ew. in your spirit. Do you know how many times I've spoke scripture to you and you didn't even recall that it was actual scripture, that which I was speaking? That's Probably because you I don't speaking. pronounce stuff right. You don't even use G's. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I would... It's. I can see how somebody could get confused by what you're saying, Shanny. I thought you read the Bible and did what it says. Ezekiel twenty five seventeen. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides. I'm joking. <laughs> but I mean, like, I just the nerve of her, the stuff that she says, and it's like, oh, how are you any de- different or any better? You're sitting oh, dude, here yeah. preaching, and you don't do the shit that you're fucking preaching right now. You yep. recall that it was actual scripture that which I was. Um, I'm not a cat. Thank you for the super chat. I'm not a cat. It says remember the death penalty comment she made. Oh yeah, she wanted to be the one to um put him down. She said that if he was uh you know to be executed or whatever, she would want to be the person to execute him. Bro. Yeah. Pretty sick. Yeah. What do you think? That was about deliberate. It? That was deliberate. Yeah, everything she said. Deliberate. Speaking. I thought you read the Bible and did what it says. But yet you can't even recognize the Bible coming out of one's mouth. I would assume if someone actually read the Bible, they would recognize the quotes, the multiple quotes. When I met you, the first thing that came That's out. Like, what man. is this about? Saying that you know more about the Bible than she than he does? Like, okay, I highly doubt that though. Just going by what I've seen and heard from you compared to him, even though I might not agree with everything that he does, he does appear to know the Bible fairly well. But isn't that like saying, I said the line from a book and you didn't you didn't know what it was, so you must not have read the book. Like, I said, call me Ishmael one time, and, and you didn't say that was Moby Dick, so you've never read Moby Dick. Right. But also, like, what's the point? Uh, if you said something, so better. somehow if he didn't recognize something that proves that he's a, a bad Christian or right. doesn't really know God, I mean... So you're telling me, Shani, that no one could come up to you and and spout some Bible verses, and you might not know that that's where it came from, too. And I mean, I mean on the on the flip side of all of this, isn't there other shit that G-Man has done that 
could be yeah. used to show he might not be a great Christian. Like not right. remembering scripture is the maybe She's, not the worst it's of some, It's a very petty, like I don't know that like what, you know, uh inspired her to do this, but it's up to I know it. I'm one hundred pretty ridiculous. Money. Yeah, you think so. You just think I, like I think they're they trying are... to guilt him into giving money oh. or what? What yes? What did you what did you think about when she said the thing about? Uh, are you going to be at work? Uh, oh yeah, I don't know. Very weird. It oh, was I very thought, very I weird. Was, I think it was bullshit one hundred percent. And they were just trying to throw people yes. off. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I think they they want people to think he has a job. He's now. She acted like she was him. about to say something, and then she realized like, oh, I shouldn't say this. Probably. Yeah, well, she pretended to because what she said was. Um, are you going to be at work Thursday or like, like they wouldn't have talked about whether he's working on Thanksgiving before they're on a live stream. Right. You know and I mean? that, cause that's a pretty big deal that he would be working at all anywhere. And right. I mean, I get not wanting to say where he works, but I just feel surely that if he actually had gotten a job, he would say he had gotten a job. He wouldn't say where, but he would say, I've got a job. I think he would be yeah. proud of it. You know what I mean? I, I really, really think that he would have if he had one. I do too. That's just me. So I think he's got something that's probably a one day thing that he's, you know, talked to somebody and said that he might possibly do that he probably will not do. He will come time to to be supposed to do it and he'll have some reason he won't be feeling good or whatever and he won't do it. Whatever I think it it's that he's doing the plasma thing now more and more. Um, and so he has a little money from time to time. And Wednesday is probably just the next time he can can do it. Yeah, could be. Well, they'll be closed on Thanksgiving. If that's what he was. Right, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, what like if he had a job and they'd be open. Most like, jobs would even, be closed. Right, yeah. if it's even a possibility, like. Even fucking Walmart's closed on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Out of my mouth was, your vengeance will be your undoing. Of course, you your need vengeance to is repent be your of undoing. your vengeance. To wish you have not. For you spoke to my husband, and yes, I listened in. Because I'm a good wife and a protective wife. Oh, you listened in because you're a good wife. Wow. That how so well let me get this right. You're you don't trust your husband enough to have a conversation without you listening in, and that makes you a good wife. He he wasn't gonna get any money without her knowing about it. Like, Shani, get a grip. Get a fucking grip, dude. But most of all, I knew there was a big wild devil coming upon my husband's ears for which him be in my flesh i have no true and it was coming out of your motherfucking mouth why is she saying this like she's reading some kind of a a weird story like who knows and who when knows? he came upon him he said right she's and because trying to read it I like it's fucking flesh, shakespeare and or therefore something. vis a vis it's very weird, like she's act, like she's trying to act like she is speaking out of the Bible or something. Yeah. Wild <laughs> devil coming upon my husband's ears. For which him be in my flesh, I have no choice but to protect and love. Your flesh? Well, why is it gray? <clears throat> That's what I want to know. Why is it gray? and cherish I called in my flesh by the way that's in the Bible Gary what yeah it's in the Bible if you're married you're flesh and my flesh but like that's if you're if you marry someone and Shani you're not married not legally and not in uh, you know the eyes of Christ and the church. You're actually, you know, fornicating every time you have sex with Rev because that you're having sex out of marriage. Which for my own peace of mind, I hope is very infrequently. <laughs> J 
Just saying. You told my husband to say an apology to you over something he didn't even do. Oh. But yet you you said... So you couldn't just let him fucking apologize because Shani, regardless of whatever it is that he was talking about earlier, he has said the N-word. He has called G-Man the N-word other times as well. What does it hurt that he apologized? He didn't pride. mind. Hurts your pride. He didn't mind, though. Rep didn't mind. He did it. Like, he but did, it sounds like, it like what we're about to find out is that apology he did earlier... Him saying that he had to do that because somebody said it was on video. G-Man told him that. Um, and maybe there was some kind of a deal for money. Ah. Uh. It happened years ago. Is he supposed to ha remember things that happened years ago? When he was going through a horrible problem with his mind? Yes, he's supposed he's right to apologize to what happened a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. poor thing. He, he wasn't feeling good. And she's back on here. Throwing poor a thing, set. though. Nah. Well, yeah, maybe that's giving him way too much. <laughs> uh, but he did look sick earlier. He legitimately did look like he did not feel good. And I'm just thinking, like, why are they on here? And you could just tell that she doesn't give a fuck. Like, that he doesn't feel good. She don't care. Even though you would think it would be done and over with. But no. No. The cane of grudge holding. And bitterness and wrath. Has to come forward. And show how bitter. And poor me. I'm the victim mentality you give to others when you're not a victim oh my god you are the manip is she talking about herself right now like I hold did. on let me go back a little bit and bitterness and wrath has to come forward and show how bitter and poor me i'm the victim mentality you give to others when you're not a victim you wow. are the manipulator you are the person who likes to how you once told me and um who was it faithful to god yeah you told me and faithful to god when um uh the hangout went offline that you like to stir the pot You like to cause trouble. Have you read Proverbs, Proverbs 6, verses 16 through 19? Go look at that. It's, it tells you all the things God hurt, hates. Uh, one of them is those who are willingly and urgently go into trouble. You know, people who sow, sow discords among their brethren. There's another one. Right, because you would never do anything like that, would you, Shani? Not sandal fawn. God. Too. With the things that God hates. And, and, and. You know what else God hates? Liars. He, you know what else he hates? Child abusers. You know what else? If you He's actually. Ghosting him. <laughs> love Jesus and God as as you claim you do which I know you don't because you do not do what he tells you to do Jesus Christ said if you love me you shall follow my commandments if you love me you're not showing you love Christ you certainly not showing that you love me or Jason Yeah, this is manipulative as fuck. You don't. You think Rev is to... still not feeling good back there? And that's why he's being so quiet? Um, Yeah, I hope so. But I think that probably she's hoping that G-Man's be like, I guess the only way for me to show I love them is to hand over some money. Right. 
You don't listen to what Jesus told you to do. In the Bible it says, I, the Lord God, shall avenge you. Ugh. But yet, there's you going after vengeance. Where is your faith in God? Why aren't you allowing to, for God to avenge you? Instead, you take the vengeance in most extreme ways. Like when you told my husband that there is another person who's been going after us for years. You know what the first thing I said that came out of my mouth? You are the one who's been after us for years and years. Though I don't understand why you have to go after me. Is it because I know the truth about you? Oh, God. Is it because I know what kind of... Well, if that was the case and he was worried about you spilling the beans, seems like he would not go after you. Seems he would do the opposite of what you're right. accusing him of doing. Why would he purposely try to trigger you? Dummy. And a scam artist you are. Because I know how dark you are and how I know that you don't really follow Christ. Is it because of that? Because I looked at your fruit and your fruit is barren and dead. What about your fruit? I it's mean, so are crazy you how she, she applies the scripture. She applies these things to others, but doesn't but think about it applying to her. No, not at all. It's like everything about you is fucking dying in death. Like, no self awareness at all. It reminds me of somebody else. Like, the I'm different because when I do something wrong, I repent. When I do something, right. I, I change. Or I'm, I'm justified. Different. Or because I have BPD. Or because this happened to me in my past. Or I have the spirit of Elijah. <laughs> So right. I can cuss. I'm Sandalfon, so I can rage. Right. I'm a fat bitch, so it's okay. I can tell you and like what you need to do and lecture you because I'm Jesus' best friend. Right, because he told me to. Right. Like, girl, bye. Where are you praising the saints? What? Where are you? Who are the saints? Let me guess. You? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you deserve praise, right? Nobody's praising you enough. I don't recall in the Bible that it says that we should be praising the saints any. Don't, but anyway, I think you just praise Jesus and God. I don't think you're supposed to. I don't, I'm, give I don't remember anywhere. Worship to anyone but the Lord. I don't remember anywhere where it said that. The same person is going to be a saint, archangel, spirit of Elijah, no God's way. best friend, and, and that prophetess. Is, and the, and the, one of the two witnesses in the Bible in right. the end days. Like, I mean, she equates it all to being her. And like, yep. literally, it's honestly, when you think about it like that, it's like, she's fucking delusional. No, no, she has. Yeah, it's she crazy. Like, if if. If she, if any of this, a quarter of it, if she actually believes it, she's insane and needs to be locked up. <laughs> like, that's well, think, genuinely yeah. psycho. Think about if she were having an interaction with any kind of like an authority figure or something and she started spouting that bullshit. They'd right. be like, uh, lock a bitch up because <laughs> she thinks she's a fucking archangel. Then again, uh, Chief Littleflower says some pretty crazy shit and they don't ever do nothing with her. Really? Nowadays, it's like their hands are tied when it comes to crazy people. And I say that as a crazy person. Like, I'm not saying that crazy people need to be taken to jail. Um, but some kind, some you have to intervene and do something. In but don't you think there situations. is a big difference between having mental illness and thinking that there is a archangel inhabiting your body? Well, the thing, the question is, does she really, truly believe it? I don't know. That I'm not convinced that she, that this is, it's not all bullshit. She might have convinced herself of some of this shit. Maybe, maybe she's that delusional. But I think some of it is she knows is bullshit. And she just says it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you lifting others up. 
Where are you taking care of the poor and the widows? Where are you taking oh, care I of Oh, I know where you are. You're doing the thing that's in Romans 1. Debating. Getting into other people's faces. Maliciousness. See, those are the markers of a reprobate. And if you like doing those things and you not only do them, but have pleasure in doing them, you're a reprobate. Girl. Repro but this isn't you malicious. This is because God told you to. to? Right. You do not even for a second get how fucking hypocritical you are being. But she gets around it because she says, God told me to say this, so it's not malicious. God said to say it. Right. If it's her and it's malicious, it's justified. Everything yep. she does is justified. Reprobates don't inherit the kingdom of God. Well, then you ain't going either. You see, Danny. your soul they is in the trouble. Money from my house. Do what? I said they may not inherit the kingdom of God, but they inherited the money from selling a house. Well, they haven't yet. G -Man don't did. inherit the. Oh, I thought you were talking about Reverend Shanny. No, no, he shoot kingdom of God. Something about reprobates don't inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see, your soul is in trouble. Do you get that? Do you get how in trouble your soul is, Gary? Do you know how in trouble you are to the Father in heaven? Do you know you're going to have to reap and sow everything you've done maliciousness toward us? You do know you're going to have to do that as well, right? Everything nope. that you're pointing out that he's going to face, you will in fact face that as well, Shani. You are not special. Another thing Quit. to think about, if G-Man came out right now and said, I'll give you guys 10 grand, they would be his best friend. Oh, God. All of this yeah. shit would go out the window. None of the shit, like, because right now she's not shit, talking about if the money. They talking, if he came and gave him 500 bucks, that would be like that. Right. But, the, I mean, that just, it proves that it, it's, it's not about the principle of this whole thing. Like, she's saying all this shit about him not following the Bible, him not doing, you know, whatever it is that she's saying. Like, it's not about that. If he came out and gave them some money, then they'd be, you know, back to buddies. Do you know that? I hate why she says that and shit too. Do you know that? Do you see that? Do you understand that? Yeah. Like, so passive aggressive. I told you to be nice. To be kind. For that is what Jesus Christ asks us to do. Commands us to do. You chose not to. You chose to hit the other cheek. Uh. Over and over and over and over and over again. And then you make up this thing where it hurts you when I said, if I'm in a car, it's going to be a death sentence to me. I have to apologize to you over that? Yeah. No. It's literally a death sentence to me. Right, if but was... it's not his fault. Is the point you're right. putting that on him when that how is it his fault if you die from being in the car? He is not responsible for you. And in the eyes of God, guess what? He's not responsible for you. Your husband is. You are. Like how much help can someone give? He fucking supported y'all for a year. But in like, her mind, and she always says that that bullshit, the, you know, what you do to the least of these. So basically, she's putting their plight on everyone. Yeah. That not only is it it's G-Man, but it's society as a whole that is responsible because we are not 
like just footing the bill indefinitely. Right. When you know, she won't them... even be responsible for her own kids, but expects everybody, uh, you know, strangers and shit to be responsible right. for her. It's insane. In a little tiny vehicle all day long. Hi, Mary. I'll get a blood clot and I'll die. Well, then you need to figure something out so you make sure your ass ain't ever living in the car. I mean, that's what we all have to do, Shani. What do you, like, I, I, that's what I don't get. What do they think, like, they don't live in reality. Like, what do you think everybody else does that goes through the same fucking things? She changes the circumstance to be that they're different. They shouldn't have to because Rev's sick in the head. She's sick. They shouldn't have to work. They have extenuating circumstances that mean everyone should be responsible for them. If that were the case, then everyone that was as bad off as Rev and worse and Shani and worse, like we, we'd be broke in a day, dude. Like there'd be so yeah. many people coming out of the woodwork saying, all right, I'm quitting my job. Y'all are now responsible for me. We'd be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie says she's not a Christian. <laughs> that whole house is dark sided. That is a fact. That was not meant for your feelings to be heard. And I don't know why you would even take that as me giving you a big blow. Because it's stupid. So, like, didn't she say he was going to, like, go to hell or something? I mean, that's a pretty big deal. She's, like, acting like that's not a big deal. Like, you know, you wish him to be condemned to hell for eternity. I mean, that's about as fucked up and mean as you can be. Right. But also, she said, G-Man gave me a death sentence. Not like, we're going to be in a car now and that's a death sentence. No, she said, G-Man has given me a death sentence. He's not paying for me to live somewhere anymore. So I have a death sentence. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. damn crazy. Yeah. Big blow. Because it's stupid. You're stupid. It's stupid. But see you, sir. Oh, my God. Did you hear Rev? Listen to that again in the background. He said something about his head. She does not give a fuck. Yeah. Like, he still doesn't feel good. She doesn't care. She wanted to get on here and say whatever she wants to say to G-Man. That's all this is. She wanted to get on here and be a bitch. She don't care if he's sick. It doesn't feel good. And they're probably hungry because... <laughs> The person telling them earlier that what they they were sending them to Taco Bell and pizza was Hunter, and he was fucking with them because uh, he really? Wasn't really, yeah, he wasn't That's really sending awesome. any of that. But somebody did. It sounded like somebody did send them some money though. But I think it yeah. was only like ten bucks or something. So That's me giving you hilarious. a big blow because it's stupid. It's stupid. Oh, Monica. She free, free bleeds and is now incon incontinent. That couch is a diaper. <laughs> oh, God. Remember your favorite joke of all time? Well, I don't know about favorite joke, but the thing that made you laugh harder than I think I've ever seen you laugh before about anything else. What? Was Shani being on the bed having like a tarp with... um. Uh, oh, like yeah, with the catchment... Rain like the rain, catch these... rain, the rain gutters around it. That was I, fucking hilarious. I didn't <laughs> think it Dude, was that funny, but you really, really that that got you. That I day. bet when she's free bleeding, that's Dracula's <laughs> wet dream. I don't want to know. I do not want to know. But see, you, sir, you, sir, you don't know how to not be stupid. You don't know how not to be abrasive and hateful that is and literally jealous. you yeah all of these things she's saying could literally be said about her it's wow 
and greedy. You don't know how to quash that bad behavior. And not only that, it's sin. It's you will not I, repent of I your really sin. I really think that something must be coming. Something must be like uh, maybe the uncle's getting fed up because they're making more and more kind of hard pitches to get back on his good side. You think? I mean, I think this is her attempt. This is like what she thinks that is. I don't think this is going to work how she wants, but. No. You tell everyone to repent for them, but you never repent yourself. Aren't you supposed to be some minister or something? Shouldn't you lead by example? What's your example? Yelling and screaming at atheists, not even talking about Jesus, but personal crap. Your dipshit what? boyfriend calls himself Rev. Does he <laughs> lead by example? If this is the example, again, we are f -f 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 fucked. She's so full of shit. That's what you do. You. Or yelling and screaming about me and how evil I am. Because I told you to be nice. And you have to turn it into something else. Like, I don't know, Shannon sitting in a car and getting a blood clot and dying. See, doesn't this sound like that, she, that's supposed she to is incapable of apologizing? But this is, she's like, she's trying to downplay what she said. She's like, the things that made you mad at us in the first place, they weren't as bad as you're saying they are. You know what I mean? It's like, right. it's an apology without an apology. Right. And you have to turn it into something else. Like, I don't know, Shannon sitting in a car and getting a blood clot and dying. That That's supposed to be like, oh, she she's really making me look bad. Well, you should look bad. And you should be ashamed of yourself how you treated us. What? Treated you, taking care of, care of you for a year or more. Right. Footing the bill. How? What about how you treat him? Does that matter? Or why? Like, uh, you guys are it could, the same could be said about you guys. Yeah. Quit acting like you have done any better for anyone. You haven't done what he did for you for anyone, Shani, ever. In your life. Because at the end of the day, none of the money that, that y'all had in the past was fucking yours. And then we could go in f even further. None of it was e earned by either one of you. Which is probably why idea. it's fucking gone. We because should watch. Don't appreciate it. We should watch that fucking video after this. What The video? blood clot one. The blood clot one? Oh. Yeah, where she says. Where she's crying about it and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I can probably find it. You really should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, shut it. Oh, my God. I don't even know how you look yourself in the mirror. I don't know how I you really do either. Don't. I do know that you don't see the whole thing, though, because there ain't a mirror big enough to fit your motherfucking ass in the reflection. <laughs> I really don't. But you know what? You can spend the rest of your life living with that shame upon your heart. Because it's going to be held accountable to you. Guaranteed 100% held accountable. You know what I hear Not makes by shame me. a lot easier to deal with? Money. Money. Money, 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 money. money, money. money. We both had the same thought. Money. But by Jesus... You're not going to make it in the room with Jesus. Because you're too egomaniacal. Bah! You're going to be up in front of that king. You. And he's going to talk to you about this stuff that you've done. And he's like, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah, he could say I'm going it to, to you. spit you out of my mouth. Ew. And render you unto the flame. For you did not allow me to do my job with vengeance. You did not help your brother and sister in need. But he did you help were greedy. you. 
You lied about money. Greedy. Oh my god. Yeah. You lied and you hurt people and stole from them. Oh, I know somebody else that likes to steal from people. Yep. You don't get a piece of Maranatha. You get a repent. For the kingdom of God is near. Oh no! What are we gonna <laughs> do? She didn't say peace and Maranatha! You don't get a piece? Like, like, that's a reward? Dark side <laughs> Gorgal! She's not a Christian! She's not a Christian! All right. I needed you to be praying for me. Let me see. We my, were, Mama. Uh, we were. I prayed for you every I day. I was praying for you every day. Let me see if I can find the the video that Michael's talking about. Um, I think XX Archives might have it. All right, I think. That it's one of these. Hmm. Sing while we wait. N no, just give me a second. I'm trying to see if any of these that doesn't look like it. But she had to have, like, done the... Well, no. No, I'm wrong about that, actually. Um, I'm thinking it's this one, but I don't know. Give it a shot. If not, go for the next one. Mm, this isn't it. This isn't it. Hold on. I know where I'm going to go. I get no kicks from champagne. Mere alcohol doesn't thrill right. me at all. Don't do that. Nobody wants so to So tell all that. me why could it be true that I get a belt? Michael, no what? one wants to hear that. Stop I it. guarantee you. I guarantee you, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Jesus, there's a lot of videos on here, guys. Hold on. I swear I'll find it. it Some like, get their minute. kicks from Baby, cocaine. That really is like, you're going to give me a headache. <laughs> Straight up going to give me a headache. All right. All right, here we go. It's got to be one of these fucking things. It is. Let me let me try for it. All right, Soren. here we're gonna try. Soren this wants one. to. All right, later, Soren. Yeah, Lisa, that is blazing saddles. <sighs> Oh shit! It wasn't on the screen. Oh, hey, I didn't think what you can were I... stupid. I thought that you knew it wasn't. Paying us two thousand dollars a month to stay with him—that is so fucking bullshit. That is so fucking bullshit. That is beyond bullshit. Do you know every time he came to the house, he was like, "Hey." What can I take from you guys? What can I take from you guys? What can I take from you guys? And he took everything. Everything we owned, he took. So no. he, wa he wants to do this. Oh, I, I, I was paying for everything. Well, you were taking everything at the same time. We were paying our way. All right, I couldn't find the video, but I found a Drader clip, it looks like, of it. So we're going to watch that real quick. Because this is definitely, I, it's got to be somewhere that I can find it, but. As you guys know, Shani manipulates people emotionally for personal gain. This video here 
I pulled out of my vault of unfinished masterpieces. <laughs> this is during the time when G-Man threw them out. They're staying in a motel. So Shani's in a big panic because she's worried she may be sleeping in the car. So she uses this emotional manipulation tactic at G-Man in the audience. Blood Clots. <laughs> Starring the Mimi Princess. <laughs> <laughs> When I know I'm gonna die, sitting in the car, cause I can't, I have to keep my leg elevated or I'll get a blood clot. <laughs> he gave me a death sentence and he doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care! And now I know I'm not gonna make it. I just, I'm not, I'm not gonna live through this. I know I'm not. Oh, I'm not gonna live through it, guys! The doctors have told me to keep my legs elevated. They told me to stay on bed rest! Bullshit. And I'm not lying about this. At all. At all. I have, I, 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 I'm just like, you have one week to live. And Jason knows this, and it horrifies him. What is he gonna do without me? He's gonna go fucking crazy! What is my children gonna do without me? That will be on your head, G-Man, and you damn well know that will be- And she said that before she- Like, after she had already lost custody of the kids. What do you mean, what are they gonna do without you? They don't have you now! Right. Dumbass. Be on your head on Judgment Day. You're gonna have to face Christ! And Jesus is gonna be like, why did you allow your sister to suffer and die when you could've done something different? Oof. I- Oh. Well, there, that was over. I thought I had Well, that it. was the one. I don't know where. Did um, you look on XX? It disappeared, too. Yeah, and I'm. I looked at graveyard flowers. I I don't know where else um to find it right now. Did it say what date that was? No, and that's the thing. Um, like I see one where she's in the dark, but um, what G Man really meant. Here, we're just gonna watch this one. And fuck it. Jesus Christ. When your mother and father forsake you. This is from Graveyard Flowers. Let me grab the link. Okay, here we go. You still with me, babe? Yeah. Okay. Are you getting tired? I'm, no, I'm looking. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the second one clip dump, clip dump has it. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. We're gonna get it. Dude, I'm Drama. looking at some of these. Like, I don't know if I've just not seen them. Don't rem I mean... Oh, you've probably seen some of them. This There's is a goddamn a gold mine. Uh, are you really like? Oh wait, I think I found it. Yeah, I think I found it. I'm so scared and need prayers. That's what we. I think I got it now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, guys. So here we go. 
just don't care anymore. She just doesn't care anymore. It's a lot anymore. more stable than it was since I upgraded or uh, got the upgrade for LBS. Okay, good. And more stable. That's great. A lot more stable. So it was OBS, it wasn't the internet per se. Right. So, um, I just want to say this is probably my last broadcast ever. Ever. Ever going to make. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But me and Jason are about to be fully, fully, fully on the streets. And I need a lot of prayers right now. Because I'm scared to death because it's pretty much G Man gave me a death sentence. Oh! A death sentence? That's how I feel. I've been served a death sentence. Because I know I can't sit right. I, I know I can't sit like normal people. Or I get really, really bad edema. And that increases. My risk of a stroke. Did you hear her really earlier bad. trying to sound all and fucking I doctory and say, I wonder why you have tachycardia like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. So, do you think that this is all like an act or that she's really crying just because she knows that the shit's hitting the fan? Or what do you think? Say again. I said, do you think that she this is real or that she's putting on an act? This one right here? Yes. I think that she never gets consequences. And I think that this might have been the first time she felt like there might be some actual severe consequences. Yeah. So when she felt I might be homeless, she was going to pull out all the stops. Like, I will guilt G-Man into maybe giving me money. I will, you know, just act my fucking heart out and i mean she, i i legit think she probably was scared thinking that they might be homeless but i don't think it was out of self-preservation not after not after out of actual uh medical concern or anything like that i think she's so full of shit yeah because like think about like she's saying that being in a car all day is what will um you know like cause the blood clots get the fuck out of the car dipshit like, right. Doing does, what she does living every in a car, day. Does that mean it has to be in motion clock. 24 hours a day? Like, so it, it's like the God. What, what is that movie with the train that constantly like, it, are, are you in the movie speed? Can you not go right. under 55 miles an hour? Like, what the fuck? Get out of the car. Right. She's an idiot. What's going to happen this time? Because it almost happened when I was, when we drove out to Pennsylvania from Colorado. My legs swell, like, e even CPS saw it, like, for two hours of me just sitting, just talking to the boys, of my legs swelling double its size, and me not being able to walk very well because of it. Then, get a wheelchair. And he doesn't care. At the end of the day, he doesn't care. No, he doesn't if care, he just fucking put you up in the place you're at demon. right he now. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He'd rather, he'd rather, he'd rather take the house that we gave him out of the kindness of our hearts, even though we knew we were going to be homeless. What? Then you're dumb. So, <laughs> that's, and the you that knew you were going to be doesn't... homeless and you still chose to give him a house. Okay. But that doesn't add up. Like, they gave him the... That's so stupid. They gave him the house when they still had money yeah. thinking they were going to be, you know, sitting pretty. And now yeah. that it didn't work out that way, now you're going to go back and be like, we gave it... Give it back, right. we would be homeless. Like, get the right. fuck out of here. Knowing that there's no way Shani thought that. and You're and either really stupid it. or dumb. And he'd so rather rent the place out so he can get money to sue Dragnaught than to save his own sister's life. 
And I'm supposed to not be angry about this. I'm supposed to not be scared about this. You can be scared. Yeah, but where's the anger? I'm supposed to shit. feel this way of not being scared. When I know I'm gonna die. Sitting in that car, cause I can't- I have to keep my legs elevated or I'll get a blood clot. <laughs> he gave me a death sentence and he doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care! <laughs> Just so he could sue fucking Dragnaught! <laughs> I don't think it had anything to do with that. Me either. Like when that guy was homeless? When that guy needed a place, we gave him so much to help him. Yeah, this is old. We're just watching it because she just referenced it. Yeah, we're just watching this real quick. And him hiding. We call it a night. Stuff. And then him talking shit behind my back. Yeah, did you realize that a minute ago you said stupid or dumb? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you're like, she's either got to be stupid or dumb. Like, well, I think that that's <laughs> the same thing. That's what I got. <laughs> no, I fucking did it. For helping someone. Yeah, I swear you did. I said stupid or dumb? Yeah, you said she's got to be stupid or dumb. <laughs> oh, I must be stupid or dumb. <laughs> One. I don't know what and I was me, actually And put it myself. Are you dumb? And, and, and my husband dumb. putting himself behind for his fucking needs. Putting him first. And now I'm being hit with this. Are you stupid or dumb? I don't know what I was going to say. This death sentence. Just so he can feel good about himself. He thinks he can go ahead and brag all over the internet. I'm helping to a doll's he. he he did help you. What are you talking about? Barely. Barely, my ass. Barely is twenty bucks. To brag on the internet while he's helping him. Well, you know. And like the thing she was saying, like man, every time he gonna... came, you know, um, and he would bring stuff, he would say, "What kind?" Of, like, so you mean to tell me he wanted something in return for the shit he was giving you? How dare he? Right. Shocker. Like, can't believe it. So entitled. To be dead. Because of a blood clot that go grows in my leg and goes to my brain. Then get up and start exercising and lo losing a little bit of weight. And the chances of you having a blood clot will go down substantially. And More you'll than save that, money. I mean. Because you won't be spending as much on fucking food. She said uh, <laughs> if a blood clot grows in her leg, if it grows this uh, even remotely the size of her fucking thigh, it's not going to make it to her. Like, it's going to yeah. get stuck there because it can't fit anywhere else in her body. It's yeah. going to be a basketball sized blood clot. Ugh. And that will be on your head. Your head! So you can sue Dragnaught because that's way more important than saving a sister's life. Even if not. And it's I'm not lying shit, about bitch. this. Like, he gets to choose. If you wanted to go buy a, a fucking car, um, any frivolous anything, if you wanted to give and it not to help you, mm -hmm. if you wanted to burn it and not help you, it's his. Right. Bitch. Oh. I have, I, 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 I'm just like, I, 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 I have one week to live. God damn, no. What the fuck? And Jason knows this, and it horrifies him. What is he gonna do without me? He's gonna go fucking crazy! Crazy! Crazy. What is my children gonna do without me? Same thing they're doing now. Whatever they're doing now. Like, you're the one who started all the hatred on the internet anyway, G-Man! Because oh, you lost that fucking house because you lied! Wow, look at that face. Wow. And he started all this shit on the internet and pretty much ruined our fucking lives because of this Are shit. Are you not reading the and chat, then Why? What? What? 
it's just what? already said, Carrie, you got to read the chat now and then, LOL. Okay. I thought I was reading the chat. What did I miss? I don't know. Obviously something. Dummy. Okay. Well, um, what, what did I miss? Am I supposed to, is there something I'm supposed to be looking at? I'm not sure. I don't see it. I, I just saw that comment. Ragnar clean on it, and then he wouldn't let it go either. Everyone say, get a job, get a job. How do you get a job? When people have gone to every fucking place of employment and fucking screwed your name over. Um, just Lori. Yeah, we did. We already covered that. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think, I don't think he has a job at all. I think that, um, it was just an act. I think that they were playing for the camera. Yeah. I think they probably watched jeans and they've heard us say that if they if he had a job they would get more help and I think they're trying to play on that. Ooh, you might be right. Mhm. Mm you might be I right. I really think so. And I mean because I the whole thing it was just too played up. Like she said like she said the whole sentence and then said oop oops like like she forgot they were on camera right right that it you don't seem a little that. bit yeah right but then she's asking if he's going to be working thursday so Drag the first time you ask oh if he's going to be working on thanksgiving day is while you're on camera four days right before. right come on yeah no and you start all this shit on the internet and pretty much ruined our fucking lives because of this shit. And then dragged non clean That's on it. And then he wouldn't let it, it go nice. either. Do what? I, she said that she thought it was uh, time for him to give plasma again. I think the same thing. I think that's what he's calling his uh, payday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That this is old cryptic, but this is what she was referencing when she was rebuking G-Man. Right, we watched the latest stuff earlier in the stream, and he was referencing, they were, she was referencing stuff from in this stream, so we just decided to watch it really quick before we end, um, for the night. Um, everyone, yep. <sighs> what? So, Apple TV's price is going up per script, for subscription. Oh, really? I just got a notice. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, that's good. Let's say get a job, get a job. How do you get it? Like, that's what you're interrupting the stream about? Well, I just got a job. Like, thing just popped up. So okay. it's going from to up to nine ninety nine a month. Like You don't have watch. to fucking read everything that pops up, weirdo. And then Let's drag non clean on it. And then he wouldn't let it go either. Everyone say, get a job, get a job. How do you get a job? When people have gone to every fucking place of employment and fucking screwed your name over. How? So they went ev literally everywhere? So you That's have people in your neighborhood going door to door from right. business to fucking get the business? Get fuck out of here. Did they fucking shower the place with leaflets from planes? In my, in, in, in my thinking, it's all on your hands. My blood is all on your hands. Because you cared more about your laughs. You cared more about your money. You cared more about your fucking everything else. Than you? Than to think yeah. maybe my actions are affecting someone in a horrible way. And now I know I'm not going to make it. Uh, there's good, I'm not, I'm not going to live through this. I know I'm not. Oh, God. I thought that's what you wanted, Shani. You say wow, all yeah. the time that you Dude. don't want to be here anymore. You want euthanasia. You want uh, Jesus that to come back. That is such a good point. I mean, if that, if that was even remotely true, if she it wasn't just that. for the attention and to be hysterical, um, mm -hmm. then she would, then that, that would be true. But I, I thought the same thing, like about like the cancer and things. She would come on here and talk about how scared she is and please God know, and this and that, and this, if that's what, like, 
that that's your goal, I thought. I thought that's what, I mean, isn't that what she wants? Pretty crazy. The doctors have told me to keep my legs elevated. They told and, and me to stay it's so on crazy, bed rest. like watching this stuff with now the the benefit of knowing that none of this shit was true. Like doctors haven't told her that because she sits around all day every day doing jack shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like right. none of this is true. If anything, a doctor would be telling you because she claims that doctors are telling her to be on bed rest, and I don't believe that. I just think that a person that size, there's no way they're going to tell you to do that because you're only going to deteriorate more and more by by not getting up at, and moving around and doing things like i it's think she misheard not help. i think she misheard i think the doctors told her to keep her legs closed so that she doesn't procreate anymore and keeps her out of the gene pool well good thing is she's got her tubes tied so i think we're good there You don't care. You don't care. So a drag knot's more important than preserving the life of your sister. That will be on your head, G-Man, and you damn well know that will be on your head on Judgment Day. You're gonna have to face Christ. So and will you. Jesus is gonna be like, why did you allow your sister to suffer and die when you could have done something different? Somehow you're still alive. I put alive. those two in your care for a reason. What? To test you. And you fail. You're a fucking adult. I put these two in your care? You are Did an Did G-Man adopt adult. you? Like, get the fuck That's over fucking it. That's fucking But they have said we need someone to come in and, um, what, like, be their benefactor, basically. Like. Yeah. They of have course got that's what one... they want crazy view of reality yep very very distorted view when you could have done something she could lose different. 200 pounds and still be obese like she would lose 200 pounds and still be morbidly obese yes mm -hmm. i put those two in your care for a reason to test you and you failed your test and you lied Shitty and Rev will never be homeless as long as I live, you liar! You lied to get the house! You lied to get everything from us, and you took everything from us! Everything we owned is in your possession! That's bullshit. No left everything in Colorado. That's all I have to say. Totally yeah, upset. you're a horrible person. Right? How <laughs> dare he take offense to this? And this tonight, she was saying like, I I was just saying this and that. Like, how? Why would you take offense to that? Like, get the fuck out of here. Right. And yet, yeah, like, they kind of the sh everything they owned, they you know whittled away. Like, they left a lot in Colorado. Anything they brought back here, if he was asking them. If he said, here, I'll give you these groceries, let you stay for another month, but I want the PlayStation and this and this, you know, like, that to me seems like a fair fucking trade. That to me seems like a person trying to say, no one gets a free ride. You don't have money. Give me what you do have. You know what I mean? Like, uh, either you go to the pawn shop and pawn it and give me the cash or you just give me the shit. But yeah. they just wanted it for free. This to me is just is just more of the bullshit that... They wanted what their cake and eat it too. They wanted the everything he was giving them, the groceries he was bringing him, them the Delta Eight, and to not have to give up any of their shit so they could keep playing video games. Like they're living the life of retired teenagers. Pretty much. That's it's fucking bananas. It is. It really is, and I hope that something happens some at some point soon, and they have to actually like be responsible for themselves because that would be great but you know i really yeah if i don't think it sounds like the uncle probably wouldn't do it during the winter like last winter it seemed like he you know wouldn't put him out in the cold whatever it was but if we got a you know 
next phase and F next story arc. I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, I wouldn't either. The, and what 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 will happen if that something like that does happen is the same thing will happen, but this time it will be the uncle. The uncle gave her a death sentence and <laughs> right, wah, wah, right. Wah, 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 wah. so um but anyway, well I'm tired, guys. So we're gonna jump off of here now. Um You're a tired guy? <laughs> yes. Um I you have, have a, a feeling that they're going to be going live again sometime soon. Uh, hopefully not tonight, but possibly tonight. This is what they do when they do start going live. They go in spurts and they go live a lot. So, you know, I'm preparing myself that it may be like that um, this time too. So I'm going to send so, you another one of those gym things. Okay, well, I'll save it for the next time. <laughs> um but uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us for a little bit. And I'm going to leave you with a song on the way out. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Love, Love you, Jean. Night, everybody.